Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith and I've shown you how to do straight stitch machine applique. Now I want to show you how you can use the buttonhole stitch if you prefer. Straight stitch machine applique leaves a line of stitches right along the edge of the applique. I like the way it looks, but I will admit that you do get a little bit not so much of lift as, as you can really feel the edge of the applique a little more than you can if you do a blanket stitch. Blanket stitch holds the edge of the applique down a little more. Now, the thing about the blanket stitch is that it's much more visible. Depends on what you like. I like the look of the straight stitch and I'm happy to go back and machine quilt over or near it to help hold that edge down even more. But let's say you don't want to do that and you like this look. Here's how you get it. I would still use the open toe embroidery foot. I would still move my needle way over here. I've got mine over as far to the right as it will go so that the needle will go into that little indentation on this side of the foot. I'll use the inside edge of the right side of the foot to help me keep the stitch where I want it. I'm using the cotton thread, the cotton 80 weight Aurifil thread. I've got my stitch length set at uh, two point and I've got the leftward motion of the stitch set at two point as well. Now you can play with that. You can play with the length of this stitch. You can play with how much you want it to catch. You can use a thicker thread. You could use an invisible thread, although I do not. I don't like synthetic threads. They won't take um, the heat of an iron particularly well. Plus, I, I'm kind of all about honoring the, the materials. You're sewing this with thread. Okay, let's just let's just acknowledge that part and embrace the thread. So you could use a thicker thread if you wanted to. You could use a contrasting color. You can um, you can do a variety of things here to make the stitch more or less showy depending on what you want. I'm going to hustle along and get to the end. Notice that I'm using the oops. I've gotten a little too close to the applique there, but if you could see where I'm sewing this, you'd understand. I am trying to look over and through the camera to sew this. Anyway, I'm using the Appliquick rod to help control the lift of the applique and control it underneath. Now, notice the way the stitch is made. It goes forward, it goes left, it goes back, it goes forward. What you want to do is plan for this forward motion to be at the point. So I'm going to go to the left, to the right. Now I know when this goes forward, I'm going to be a little shy of the point. So I'm going to lift this and see if I can't bring that forward as far as I want it. Now I'll take it down. And it didn't exactly. Um, if I go left here, it's not going to catch the point. What I really want to do is pivot this so that that leftward stitch goes over just next to the edge of the applique. And I'm not sure I'm quite there. Let me go to the left, to the right. I don't think I moved it quite enough. Now the next stitch will be forward and I don't really want to do that either. It's going to be forward. No, see points are tricky. Points are tricky. You know what? On this one because of where I am I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go forward there. Now it's going to go left and catch sort of the edge of the applique. And now it goes forward. Alright, 
is that a perfect point? Oh, who knows? Maybe not visually, but here's the thing. Will it hold the applique in place? Yeah, yeah, it'll hold the applique in place. Would I take that out? No, I wouldn't. Would I expect to do better points every time I do one? Yes, I would expect that. So, you should know that I don't do buttonhole applique, but even I can pick this up and do it just fine using these tools and a good machine. So, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I hope you can add this to your stack of applique tricks and have many happy stitches. Thanks for watching. Wait a second, I'm back. I thought I would give you a PS, so to speak. Um, this is what my point looked like when I did it imperfectly. If I had been able to move the camera and really look, that stitch right there would have been more hidden at the edge of the leaf. Now, if I were to zoom back on that, zoom way back the way you might see it on a block would you really notice that once it's quilted no so again I would not take that out I would move forward and just embrace it um, but let's look close a little bit more that stitch I took it did hold this edge firmly in place so no harm no foul that's the way it looked that's the end of my postscript again happy stitching Thanks for watching.